The purpose of drawing all these paths is to do one of several things. Either you want to use that path to be able to make a selection of an area, and either duplicate that area onto a new layer, make a mask of that area, or you just want to make a selection of that area in order to affect some change just to that area. So I'll give a quick demonstration in how to make a selection of a path to either duplicate or mask. So I'll work with path one. So I'll select path one and we come up to our options here and click make selection. And here's our selection options box here. Now my default for the radius is normally, normally sits at one. And there's a reason for that. And that's because even with the sharp edges of the human body, it's never 100% crisp and sharp. Otherwise it looks a little artificial. So you want a, a very gentle feather radius on your mask. And I'll show you what I mean now. So if I was to make a feather radius of zero and click OK and come into my layers palette. Now because everything we're looking at right now is a combination of the face sculpt layer and the legs lengthen layer, what I quickly need to do is copy everything onto a new layer. So command option shift E and here's our new layer, layer one, which is a composite of everything which we could see on our screen. And I'm going to hit add layer mask. Now just so we can see the mask itself, what I'm going to do is underneath layer one, I'm going to create a new layer and fill it with the, my current foreground color, which is this dark blue color. Now to fill my foreground color into this layer, I just hit option delete so we can see what we've masked out. And if I zoom in on the edges of this mask, we can see that it's very sharp. And in reality, this would look a little artificial. One of two ways around this. Number one, I can either click on my mask come up to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and blur my mask with a further radius of one pixel and click OK. Now if I just pan back out, Command minus, we can see that now our mask has got a little more of a realistic edge to it. It's not quite so sharp. But what I should have done in the first place is if I just get rid of my mask, I'll unlink it and drag it into the trash, hit Delete, come back into my paths, select Path 1, and if I go up to make a selection, I'll give it a feather radius of one pixel and click OK. Now when I come back into my layers palette and click add layer mask to layer one, I already have my gentle mask. Alternatively, if I once again drag my mask into the trash after unlinking it, hit delete, come back into paths. Now because I know that the last time I made a selection, it had a feather radius of one pixel, that is now my current default feather radius. So all I need to do now is command click on that path to make a selection of it. Back into my layers palette. Now this time I'm not going to mask out this layer. I'm going to duplicate it. So all I need to do now is just hit command J and that's going to duplicate my selection onto my new layer. And we can see if I switch off layer one, just so I can see what I've done with my new layer. Once again, we can see that what I've copied onto this new layer, if I zoom right in, has a nice soft edge to it. Command zero to fit to window. Now all I need for the time being is just the paths that I've created for my next tutorial, which is going to be on advanced body reconstruction. So I don't need these last three layers I've created. So I'll select layer three, hold down the shift key, select layer two. So I've selected all those layers and drag them all into the trash. And so those are the basics of deep etching.